This story starts with an absolutely absurd email that I got from Uber. But when I got it, I thought, Ed, let it go. You've got mountains of funny and absurd slice-of-life Uber content to focus on, and you ranting and raving about how an international corporation is exploiting overworked parents in order to monetize children isn't going to change anything. But then this happened. My very first weekend driving after I heard about this ridiculous idea of Uber Teen. Are you really in college? Because if I'm getting from high schoolers, that's like very problematic. No, I, I have a med card. They're all of these. Now you might be thinking, so what? A few college-age adults who are obviously old enough to order Ubers and drink offer you a decriminalized that you know from your Uber experiences is far less dangerous than the alcohol they are drinking. Well, what if I told you that these weren't adults at all? They were children! Now before I show you just how ridiculous and inappropriate that ride got, and whether or not I ended up taking them up on their offer, ooh, cliffhanger. I mean, not really. Do you think if I actually took from little girls I would post it on the internet? <laughs> That should be their tagline. Uber teen, the cool new way to get drugs from minors. But before I get into all that, the former teacher in me feels compelled to address this insanity. We are talking about an internet service that allows 13 year olds to call cabs for them and their little 13 year old friends whenever they want. And the only thing holding them accountable is a notification on their parents' phone. But I mean, hey, that's all you need, right? Teenagers would never do anything that they would have to lie about later. In order to understand understand the insanity of Uber Teen, let's take a gander at the marketing email that Uber is sending out to parents and teens that they want to use their service. This kind of marketing propaganda would make Don Draper proud. I am here to tell you it is not a village. We don't know your kids. And unless you think being a highly rated Uber driver somehow qualifies you into playing babysitter, I hope you can appreciate how we're all playing with fire here. Now in the name of safety, Uber is requiring teens who want to use Use this service to complete a mandatory safety onboarding before their first ride. It begs the question, what does this Uber onboard training for teens look like? Well, let's take it together, shall we? Accept the invite from Edward Doyle to get your own Uber account. Then you'll be able to use it without your parent or guardian. Join. You're almost there. Just a few more steps before we can exploit your family situation and take your money. The training begins. Have your pin ready. Before entering the vehicle, give your pin to the driver. Wait for the notification that they entered the correct code. It's actually really good advice. The thing is, nobody ever does that. They always wait to get into the car and then give me the pin. And at that point, it's too late. If I had nefarious purposes, I just locked the door and punched the gas. How are you? Good. Good, how are you? Good. Uh, your pin? 1084. They'll also receive notifications when you request a ride, while you're on trip, and when you arrive. Just a notification though. It's not like they gotta confirm it. So, if you wanna stay up until 2 a.m., wait till your parents are asleep, and then go wherever the hell you want, have at it, kid. Unexpected event alert. We'll message you and make sure everything's okay. Not bad. If you want to automatically record audio during your rides, just tap allow microphone access now. Dude, that's it? Are you kidding me? That's all you gotta do? And keep in mind, this is everything that a 13-year-old needs to know in order to safely get into the car with not only a stranger from the internet, but a stranger from the internet that drives for Uber. Yeah, I know how a lot of you assholes look at us Uber drivers. Let me put it this way. Would you let your Uber driver hold your wallet? Why would you let them take care of your kid? Especially kids that require an extra dose of patience. So don't Eddie, do that because it's going to, listen, oh, wait, wait, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. You guys, get, could one you one just one? charge when you get home or you got to hold it up this front because it's going to, Eddie, whoa. Eddie, hey, Eddie, 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 Eddie. look, I get it. It's a busy world and parenting's tough. And while I'll never understand giving a 13 year old access to literally the world at their fingertips, I could see how a parent of say a 16 or 17 year old would be okay with this, especially if they trust their kid or if they just don't give a shit about them. But the thing is, I think people always forget that kids don't have a lot of interaction with actual adults. Kids only have interactions with adults who are in a childcare capacity like teachers or coaches or guidance counselors. <laughs>
Adults who have to put up with their shit, otherwise they lose their job. And I'm speaking as a former teacher here. When a kid was acting like a little asshole in my classroom, I saw it as part of my job to understand that it's just a cry for help and attention and employ patience and empathy and do my best to help him or her work through it. But when a kid's being a little shit in my car, when I'm moonlighting just to make ends meet, I don't give a about him. I'll drop their annoying little ass on the side of the road in the pouring rain if need be. Eddie, when's your birthday? I'll Jordan. tell you what, I'm just gonna drop you off at the corner here. You can call a different Uber because okay. this just isn't worth Stop. my time. And like I said, I used to teach. Imagine how somebody who's not used to dealing with kids might react. The point I'm trying to make is teens are used to being around adults who have to put up with their shit and Uber drivers aren't those kind of adults. So these kids need to know that if they're going to do adult things, like take an Uber, they need to act like an adult. And as for drivers, here's a fun fact that Uber conveniently disguised in the fine print. You actually have the option to opt out of this. And if you don't want to take part in Uber Teen, you need to do this because Uber automatically defaulted drivers to opt in because they knew otherwise. Who the f would choose to pick up little kids. You show me a grown ass adult that willingly wants to be alone in the car with kids that he doesn't know, and I'll show you a grown ass adult that shouldn't be around kids. Now opting out is only half the battle. Even before this new service, there always have been and there always will be kids that figure out ways to take Uber, whether it's under Uber Teen or not. How old are you? And the way I see it, Uber doesn't pay me enough to play make-believe bouncer, asking little kids that I never met before to show me their ID. As long as somebody in the group looks 18, I'm not going to cancel good paying trips, especially after I took the time to drive there. And for the ride in question, I'm at the point in my life where everyone under the age of 23 looks the same, and the fact that they were drinking so nonchalantly in public had me thinking they were at least in college and probably 21. So instead of starting this ride off with an interrogation, I'm gonna assume that Uber did its due diligence to make sure that minors aren't using their app. And I only feel comfortable doing that because I have a dash camera. If you're driving without a dash camera, you're flirting with fire because there will be kids that get into your car and lie. That's what kids do. They lie for no other reason than they think it's funny. Where are you guys from? Well, I'm, I'm Albania. Albania? Yeah. Oh, wow. When'd you move? couple months ago. Oh, that's wild. You see, it only took me four months to learn English. You know, the classic teenager bit. Look at me. I'm making something up about myself to a stranger that has absolutely no way of verifying if it's true or not. Isn't that crazy? I, I, yeah, I was just joking. I, I've been here for years. No surprise. I knew you were lying. And these were good kids. Respectful. Fun to talk to. My name is, uh, is Duke. It's David Duke. <laughs> David Duke. <laughs> You know who that is? Uh, That's my name. Duke. David Duke is my name, my birth given name. <laughs> is it right? actually? Yes. <laughs> I come from the Duke family line. Yeah. David yeah, Duke was knows? like a KK leader. That's I not true. Really <laughs> That's fake news. That's not true. <laughs> no, no. Not gonna lie, thought that was pretty clever. You almost had me. And don't get it twisted. I'm not hating on these guys. If every ride went like this, it wouldn't be an issue. If anything, rides like this get me feeling all nostalgic. Reminded me of that beautiful stage in life where hanging with your friends and bullshitting around felt like the only thing that mattered. Oh my god, my oh I'm the idiot though, Muhammad. You didn't know what inebriated meant. Do you know what inebriated? Do you know what inebriated means? Of course I know what it yes. is. Yes! Bro, okay, he knows exactly. what Bro, But I'm also he, an adult. You know, that beautiful stage of life before adulthood tells you that good-hearted, innocent fun like this isn't a priority? I asked some girl, some you girl was like crying. She's like, I don't know where my sister is. I was like, are you a knee break? She's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but what happens when the joking around is more consequential? What happens when somebody lies about being an adult and then invites you to do adult things? Wait, can you give me some yeah. like, oh, weed? Yeah, I might die. Yeah. You have weed? Yeah, you want some? I mean, I'm not gonna turn down free weed. All right, so I'll give you no. some weed. And to be clear, the point of this video isn't to demonize these girls. I think they were just being kids and not realizing what a stupid thing they were doing. I mean, I know I'm a good guy, but they don't know me from Adam. And they're inviting me into their house. And that's the point I'm trying to make. If kids are going to use this app, they need to recognize that if they don't act right, it can lead to some pretty squirrely things. What school? Swarthmore College. Oh, right Swarthmore College. Oh, oh, cool. I thought, you were saying, weed I thought you were saying sophomore college. No. Yeah. 
Oh, no, no. no. Oh, gosh. I'm mad that we said that. We're like, Alright, but do you want it? Do you want it? No, I'm being so dead serious. Just go in the garage, take like one. I, I would love to, but I don't smoke and drive. That's what like, you know what? Drive. Honestly, fuck it up. You're so I'll, loud. I'll, so I'll, good. You're like me. Come in, come in, just like give, say hello, like show off the book, and we'll give you like three free rolls. Uh, I mean, are you serious? I'm being so serious. I hope that the way let me check it. Are you me. really in college? Because if I'm getting weed from high schoolers, that's like very problematic. No, I, I have a med card. They're all of these. Now, I'm almost positive that you can't get a med card unless you're 18, and more importantly, I didn't think somebody without a med card would think to say that. Plus, if you were going to lie about being in college, why would you ever pick Swarthmore, nerds? But I still had my suspicion, and then this exchange got the ticker on my BS meter to jump. He was at the football game the other day. Who? Who? What football game? The Swarthmore football game. They have a football game? Yeah, they have a small team. It's like a club. But it's like the only like football we have. So we, we just go. Yeah. The, the, our best team is our women's soccer team. Like we're we try for soccer. I really have no idea if we're at a football team. No, yeah. it's like a club. It's like, it's like, a, like club. a club. It's not even real. that. Yeah. My gut told me something was off, and honestly, I don't even really like smoking that much. It was just my cheap ass. Thought it was a good opportunity to get it for free. So I didn't press the unique tip that she was offering. Eddie, Eddie if you yeah. want to come back in like in like an hour or like thirty minutes, then I'll have a lot of money. All right, sounds good. And I am sure glad I didn't because later that night I got confirmation that these girls were lying from another pair of teenagers, one of whom was carrying a megaphone because teenagers. I just picked up four girls from that same bridge right there. Really? Yeah. What are their names? Um, I think it was... That's my girlfriend. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I literally just picked them up. Yeah. That's so well. They were leaving. I was like... They were cool. They offered me free weed and they bought one of my books. It was sweet. You guys go to Swarthmore too? No. Uh, I go to we all go to I fucking knew they weren't they in college. Were I knew it. I knew it. And as if these girls really wanted to drive home the idea that teenagers are not to be trusted in an Uber, they went and stole from me. You can watch that video here.